Hello, uh, welcome to my channel. This is uh, my first real upload. Um, there's some other videos on here, but nothing quite like this yet. Um, so I'm playing Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, my name is Mr. Hasu, and I thought I'd uh, seen, seen quite a few uh, plays overall, um, quite a few countries. But not so many in South Africa, though, so I thought I'd uh, go down this route. Um, South Africa is uh, well, it's not in a good spot in 1936, which is the start date we're going to be picking. Um, as well as some extremely nasty uh, national spirits. History of segregation. Also won the brag. But uh, yeah, we're going to give it a go. So, as you can see, we start off with 31,000 manpower and 10 factories. Of that, we have one military factory and nine civilian, three of which are going to make toasters, which uh, feels bad, man. Um, so, uh, what's our goal for this campaign? Well, look at this nice little continent here. Uh, we're going to make all of this ours, in a sense. Um, we're going to be following down the communist path here. Um, and one of the probably one of the harder ones in the game, Union of the African People. Um, so we're we're, we're going to try and unite the African people, which uh, should be pretty challenging. That pretty much means we're going to be going to war with everyone at some point besides the Soviet Union. Um, so you know, bear with me. Um, this is either going to go really well or really badly. So, but, you know, uh, start things out. Uh, we want to get sort of shift towards. Communism, so abandon Westminster. The replacement of the Cape Route by the Suez, as well as the formative experience of the Boer War, have helped create a South African identity distinct from that of our Dominion allies. We should distance ourselves from the King and forge our own path. We will indeed forge our own path. Alright, so we start off with two research slots. And. Not much in the way of technology, unfortunately. That's not terrible. Uh, suits our needs for the time being, anyway. Um, we're not going to be building tanks anytime soon. Um, we're mainly going to be focusing on infantry divisions. Um, our naval production is also piss poor. No naval doctors whatsoever, so. Yeah. As you can see, we don't have a whole lot of room for expansion, but, uh, I have Start building military off the bat. Uh, what do we have for resources? Well, we have a shit ton of chromium. Um, and a nice few colonies above us have a ton of chromium, but uh, there's a few I believe we can unlock somewhere in national focus. Yeah, over here. Anyway, we'll get to that. Um, so, I'm gonna do the cookie cutter start, obviously. Basic machine tools. Construction. So yeah, we don't have a whole lot of men, so I guess we'll train a couple divisions here. I'll place you there. Let's see, what do we have for generals? Just one. Level four, that's not bad though. Desert Fox help. Yep. Cool. So pretty much game plan. Take Portugal first, probably. But you know, we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. Military production. All right, I think we're good to go. Mm -hmm. Get three thousand rifles, and we're making not even f better than five a day. Doo -doo -doo. So uh, yeah, that's my first series. Hopefully, it goes fairly well. Uh, ooh, I can cross over into British soil. That's nice. Um, so I. I don't know at some point. Um, let me go to war with Portugal. Uh, I don't know if. I know this might be an event when we conquer these colonies. It stops the war, but if we don't, I have no idea how we're going to get to Portugal. Well, that could be an issue. The ban on Westminster is done. Next, we will empower the workers so we can start building up our nice communist support. 
We are a country of miners and farmers. The working people of South Africa are the only true representatives of a national will. Nice, uh, nice little thing about this communist um, path is um, th there's a lot of racial segregation at this time in South Africa, um, and I don't even believe they can vote. I'm not entirely sure on that, but the Spanish Civil War like to help out. I even have a focus on that. Um, this would support Spain, but I don't think we'll be able to take it by the time we uh, get up support. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, first government. We have a uh, captain of industries. We do. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, Osa Wunderbrag is actually a uh, Nazi sympathist uh, party that exists in South Africa. They conducted terrorist attacks and uh, quite a few other nasty business in South Africa during World War II that uh, hampered their uh, economy and shut down a few factories. So, I'm gonna get rid of that. I mean, we don't want any Nazis down in here. It's dirty fascists. Uh, Alright, well, we're going for concentrated industry. Uh, we're going down a very predictable route, but, you know, it's not much options in that. Okay, so now that is done, I have to wait for the communist power to get up a little bit. So, what Naples lost? No, we're pretty much probably just going to go for civilian factories. Yep, there we go. South African Railways. South African Railway Company need to be expanded. Bands of youth can be trained there and given the necessary skills to both work in the country and serve overseas. Two infrastructure. Other oh, divisions coming. Not at all. God. One military factory. Oh, I got two military factories now. One another military factory. I need at least three naked guns. Well, at least we don't have to give away any of our resources yet. Or our factories. Let me export new chromium. Uh, Britain has a focus, actually, that can help us out a little bit here. But, uh, I don't know if I'll actually go down that route. I don't know if you guys know, but, um, historical focus is off. Well, they have researched it, so. Something, yeah, here it is. That is a really nice bonus for developed South Africa. It's not too deep in our focus, tree either. If I left, uh, historical focus on, that would have taken pretty early, but. Yeah, it's uh, three civilian factories, two dockyards. It's really a nice boost. Research slot available. Uh, this is where we can start to branch out a little bit. Uh, electronic and mechanical engineering. So yeah, it's probably going to be a long campaign. Uh, hopefully you guys can stick around, maybe enjoy a little bit. I probably could have gotten that earlier. Actually. I don't know, is there something stopping me from doing that? I don't know, but. Anyway. Civilian factories. Yeah, we can finally get some. Expand the mining industry. South Africa's mineral wealth is legendary. We've only just begun to tap into steep reserves of gold, chromium, and platinum. I don't know, we've got a lot of chromium. It'd be cool if uh, gold was actually a resource in this game. Soon, so you don't need radio straight off the bat. So, mechanical computing. Trying to make the most of what little we have. So, uh, there is a way to get rid of this extremely nasty history of segregation, but it involves 20% wall tension. So, we can get on this little path here, all measures act. And uh, essentially, these two bottom focuses we constitute the Cape Corps and expand the Cape Corps. Then we can sort of get rid of it, but. South Africa's population actually really isn't that bad. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so we have about 10 million, I think, total. Something like that. So, you know, not 
terrible base. Repeal the Native Representation Representation Act. Racial discrimination is contrary to the values of popular evolution in South Africa. Blacks should be restored to general voting rights and given political rights. Political power plus one twenty. Black volunteers grants recruit population one percent. I must modify also on the brag by daily fashion sport minus zero point zero one. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna get rid of those dirty fascists. The factory output's not helping this either. So I, I kind of like what they did with this uh, focus tree. Um, gives you a lot of options. I think it's one of the actually the more unique ones of uh, the expansion. More political power. I don't think we can do anything much, can we? So workhorse. Should I take that? Yes, I think it will. More political power is always good. Industry. industry. Who do we want to trade with? Probably the Soviet Union. This is one we're not going to go to war with. Let's see. Construction's a bit. I know it's, I know it's a little, little bit ahead, but. Don't need excavation. Machine tools. Construction efficiency to cap. Probably concentrate industry again. That seems to be the uh, most bang for your buck first research slot anyway. Oh, of course it's down the industry. Uh, we want to become communists. Yeah, done. I put this on. I'm just going to let it. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. 20k extra manpower. Oh no, we have 14k. Uh, Alright, get rid of that. Oh, I can't have any more divisions in <laughs> eight. Okay, now we're gonna. Ooh, well that actually did help quite a bit, didn't it? Black volunteers. Thank you, racial equality. It's, uh, it's working for us. Equal opportunity. Ooh, and this removes also one of the brack. If we are in. Equal opportunity employment. If we are to improve a lot of work as our nation, we must start with ensuring that all workers are treated equal, regardless of their color of skin. Factory output plus 5%. I'll take it. I really should be concentrating more on the industry side of things, but I kind of want to get our shift started as early as possible. Alright, now that we've done that, uh, probably industrial concern. Nothing but researching that. So, how's our factory situation looking? Alert 13, yay. DK uh, developing us yet. Oh, go and find that tree. Well, ho hopefully, you know, you want to develop us first. DK, I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, we're pretty much gonna tell everyone to go fuck themselves and create our own nice little faction of paradise for the workers in Africa. We'll up to 26%. Okay. Not a bad start. We're doing a lot of political power, aren't we? I don't know if I should start saving. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna start saving. Because uh, I wanna be free. Free for. Actually, no, because I want to expand our current divisions. I don't have much manpower to live with. Equal opportunity employment. Done. Do I want to support Spain? Oh, actually. Actually, that's the war going. Oh, it's almost over and I select a focus. It's wonderful. Oh, well. Yeah, well, I'm actually just pretty much one hit. Okay, what do we go for next? Uh, ooh. 
65 days. Improve machine tools. Do a segregation. Yeah, the uh, plan eventually is uh, once we start getting some of uh, the states under uh, our nice uh, time tight grip, it's uh. Start uh, getting some manpower, some cheap manpower from those things. That's straight industry too. Construction too. Yep, capsule. Eh, it's not very fun. I guess we're going back down here. Heavy engineering. It's important for South Africa to stay up to date with the latest engineering techniques. Even though our industrial base is small, we should invest in heavy machinery and engineering to quickly catch up to our peers. Uh, well, it's going to take a while to catch up, eh? And we can switch. Oh. Might do that actually. Partial mobilization. That'll free up. Radio. Yeah, we'll take video. Get it out of the way. So, with the historical focus on, I have no idea when the first one, when the second one was going to start. So, this, this is going to be pretty damn chaotic. I don't know how the Japanese Chinese war is about going. Oh, I should probably stop training my troops now. Yes. Until it's my first time recording, really. Going all over the place. Like engineering. Can I burn a king's fortress yet? Yeah, no, I can't. Boo. More infrastructure. <laughs> oh, some of these aren't too bad down here. But, uh, Is that yeah, pretty good. Fortify the rock. Oh, I care about Gibraltar. Help me out. There's a Chinese war. 25% wood tension. 40% wood. The soldiers desert to communist partisans. No, I don't want to lose it more. <laughs> Population at 15%. Could probably burn the king's portraits now. The chief of army yet? Actually, speed's really important in Africa, but. Yeah, I wish it was attrition on this, because we're going to be fighting across nothing but desert. Guys, to this line, don't they? Our friend, um, yeah, the communists took power. They really took power. Yeah, I, 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 th I think that's like one of the only actually African leaders you know, are actually based. There's no other African leaders like around the whole world. That's terrible. Except for Ethiopia, but that didn't last very long. Racial equality, bring it to the world. Ooh, 50% is nice. But not yet. Okay, so I kind of caught up on the industry. Start in the military. Support weapons. Up. Do you want to continue our industry or do you want to? Uh, yeah, 
a lot more industry before I start worrying about them. Assault knife can steal, armament effort. Definitely need armament effort. Two military factories sounds real good. South Africa is safe from invasion by any foreign power, but also remote from its allies. It is vital it develop its own armaments industry so that the Union is never undefended. We're also now called the Cape Commune. That's such a cool name. The Cape Commune. So yeah, we, we have no naval dockyard, but we know how to destroy the we know how to boy the basic destroyer. <laughs> uh, Sorry this isn't very entertaining, but uh, you know, first part of the series. We'll uh, hopefully heat up in the second and third parts. If you guys uh, haven't picked up this game yet, I highly recommend it. It's a very addicting, very solid RTS all around. Um, it's got depth, the replayability um, just for different nations is amazing. What a standard grand battle plan. Yes, probably actually. Uh, I don't want any of that yet. Yeah, okay. Land doctrine sounds good. Grand battle plan sounds good to me. Especially since all our nice machines are gonna go in all this desert north jungle. Almost done. Time to do too. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want 16 steel or. This is eventually where we're gonna go. Get some mango in. Hmm. Yeah, I kinda just wanna keep going down this tree. I need to research slot steel. Oh, mm, yeah, probably. Tuxton. Uh, nope, I don't want to buy Portugal. It's already been at war, but I'm assuming. Soviet Union, yay. My precious communist allies. So our leader is called Moses Katane. Katane. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But, uh, yeah. Racial equality for everyone. We can raise our autonomy. That's what I've been saving for. We are now free. Yay! Future work on me? Soon. I can change it soon. Does the UK feel it opens out yet? Uh, nope. I don't think we can really rely on that one. Oh, that sucks. That would have been helpful. But no. Whatever. Economy. I really want to change our description laws, but hmm. yeah, more economy. <laughs> if I did almost nothing, let me go with that. Okay. Yeah, almost worth it. Support weapons. Divisions and basic training. South African steel. Oh, in case I didn't go over that, South African steel adds a uh, sixteenth steel, I believe. So we're producing a bit more. Yay! Yeah. Well, also, maybe I can stop trading actually. Get some. Mm, get a nice factory back. Military factory sounds good to me. Well, uh, actually, I'm gonna start recruiting. Actually, since we're producing.
boosting our artillery now. It's barely. Nice bit of infantry equipment stockpiled. Let me get my total artillery stores up a little bit before I add it. Yeah, I want those civilian factories. Port Pilot East Asia. Oh. I've barely seen Hong Kong fall. Panels never bothers, does it? Ooh, and guess what? More civilian factories! Well, if I get right here, yeah, okay, now we're gonna get. Uh, do you wanna save up actually? Extensive conscription. Yeah, we're gonna save up actually. No point in spending extra, I'm just gonna go that far anyway. Return arms, two more factories. Expand the Rand Mines. The Rand Mines are some of the deepest gold mines in the world, and so even with 19th century technology, you're capable of so much more now. Dig deep, and greedily even. It's National Spirit Gold Exports, which grants consumer goods factories minus 5%. Now that's a lean economy, which means 10% uh, is not bad. Military factories. Uh. I think I'm just gonna make certain support. Because we're gonna need field hospitals. Just show some means we're gonna need motorized eventually. So that'll probably be a little bit of a but now we need shoot. We need aluminum and steel. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little more factories. It's not bad though. Ten percent of Grand Battle Plan. Nineteen thirty nine. Eh. Should we do? Three hundred. So we can start kicking up this. I take extensive conscriptions. Probably about as far as we're going to go for that, because we're going to get a lot more manpower from, uh, as we start going down the, call the War Measures Act, right? So, our weapon's done. Uh, still, still not 1939. I'm surprised Germany declared war on Poland here. Computing machine. It's like research time. Almost done. National spirit. Expand the ram mines. Now we're using 10%. Yay. Okay, cool. Now I can get an extra research slot. Sounds good to me. Expand the University of South Africa. Pretoria's University of South Africa is one of the best universities on the continent. Well, I hate to be a dick or anything, but I probably aren't that many universities on this continent this time. It's kind of just resource hogs for land grabs for all the colonial powers. I'd say outside of South Africa. I mean, maybe Morocco. Nope, it's not that thought. Liberia? Eh, not really either. So, <laughs> I guess Ethiopia and Kenya? Yeah, Ethiopia, Kenya, and South Africa are probably the most well developed. We should put Madagascar. France bans communism. Those dirty rat bastards. Uh. Okay, guys, uh, that probably actually wraps up for about episode one. Uh, hopefully, I've been somewhat entertaining. You know, if I have, please leave a like. 
you really love to subscribe. Or, you know, you, you can say you hate it too. Uh, that's fine. I'll take it all with a grain of salt. Uh, thank you, and look out for part two, uh, hopefully in the next couple of days.